G'day guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to use these environmental DNA test kits uh, and that's just going to involve showing you how to take a water sample and how we can preserve this sample to be sent back to the lab for analysis. So we're going to be using this technique as a non-invasive way just to test for the presence of any elusive or threatened species uh, that would otherwise be really hard to detect in our waterway. I'm certainly not the right person to tell you how this works but I can show you the first steps in how to take a sample. So once you've found yourself a nice safe spot to access some flowing water, first thing we can do is just open up our bag and put our gloves on, uh, that way we won't contaminate anything in the sample kit from then on. The next step is just to grab our syringe and take a sample of water. Uh, so what we're going to do here is just make sure that we don't get any weed or sediment in the sample uh, and then we're just going to make sure there's no air bubbles uh, and then we just want to empty it so there's only 50 mil remaining. That's just because we need to record the exact amount of water that we're actually filtering. And if we use 50, that's a nice round number, so we can add that up. So now we just got to attach the filter to the syringe and then force all that water through. Uh, we're going to repeat this process as many times as we can until no more water can actually be forced through. Just making sure we record actually how many times we do this so we can calculate the volume that's been filtered. Once you've recorded how much water you've actually filtered, uh, all we need to do then is just purge the filter to remove any excess water. Um, so to do this, just fill it up and then just force that air through. Now that all that's left to do is just to push the preservative through this so the DNA doesn't degrade before it can get to the laboratory. So what we want to do is just uncap the preservative, attach that one to the filter, and then push all of that into the filter. Then we just want to put the cap back on the end and leave this all as one piece and that's just going to go into the sample bag which can be sent directly back to the laboratory. All we've got to do now is just fill in all the details so we know who did this sample, which waterway we're at, what the latitude and longitude were, uh, as well as the total volume filtered. Once we completed this, all we've got to do is send this back to the lab for analysis and then we can find out what species are actually inhabiting our waterway. 